There's something very unique about what kiho alu or slack key is. It's all about changing the tuning of the guitar. Many parts of the world where the guitar is tuned, the Spanish tuning, which sounds like this. It doesn't sound like a nice chord. By loosening or slacking some of the strings, you suddenly get a sound that sounds like a chord. It sounds just by playing the open strings, it already sounds good. This is likely the first tuning that became popular here. We call it tarot patch tuning or open G, and it's very close to standard tuning. But from this tuning, many, many other variations have come up to suit different keys. Maybe if someone's singing, this, this music was played for accompanying singing, it would suit someone's vocal range. Ah, the key of G is not quite working there, this particular one, so I'm gonna just keep slacking the strings. And, and so now there are so many variations on the tunings. Uh, and a style evolved in the early, what I would think of being the early sound of the tradition, there are some really essential elements that are part of Kiho Alu. And the first thing, the heartbeat of the music is this. It's just simply playing a bass line. And so think of those mariachi sort of sounds where there's, there are multiple instruments playing. With Kiho Alu, we're trying to bring together different instruments, so bass player, someone doing rhythm, and someone playing melody all at the same time. So that's a really beautiful thing. It's like a little mini orchestra going on with the guitar by opening up the tunings. Now with this in mind, if I play some melody, that bass line is still there. This is very like, like the early sounds of a tradition. And more techniques started to develop where there'd be more expression coming through the music. One is what's called a hammer-on and pull-off. Another technique is sliding your fingers around. Another technique that's very popular is called chimes or harmonics, these bell-like sounds. Notice the whole time though, there's a bass line. It's still there. Sometimes borrowing a little bit from the vaqueros, maybe we strum a little bit. But within that, there's the olapa, the rhythm of the ipu. Giving it a Hawaiian sound, a connection to the ancient sound. But with this very contemporary idea of a Western instrument, but borrowing some of those ancient rhythms. Sometimes the bass player would have fun. So all those ideas together, that's basically the, the tradition of Kiho Alu.